Hi, I'm Bob Kamatour from the law firm of Levy, Phillips, and Konigsberg. And we're very pleased to have with us today Dr. Harvey Pass, the chief of thoracic surgery at NYU Medical Center and a specialist in mesothelioma and lung cancer. Now, I know you've also been involved in developing a tissue bank for mesothelioma and, and looking at, at when, you, when you can, getting actual mesothelioma tissue. How does that help in, in advancing your research? There's only 2,500 of these unfortunate people in the country. The, 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 over the world, there's, there's a lot more, but every patient is, is, is golden because we not only have an obligation to treat the patients, but we have to figure out what to do about the disease. So every patient that comes to see me with mesothelioma, even if I just consult on the patient and the patient is gonna be treated elsewhere, we ask the patient to participate in our biomarker program. The biomarker program is as simple as we ask them to give us uh, blood, and from the blood, we can look at the biomarkers that I just talked about because there's two components of blood, serum and plasma. We can look at their white blood cells if they give us permission to look for genetic changes that may be inherited. We can look also, believe it or not, at RNA and DNA in the blood too. So that's a rich resource that is not just for my lab, but we do this uh, to share with other labs also. In fact, we're part of the National Mesothelium of Virtual Bank, which is funded by the CDC for this very purpose and it includes Mount Sinai, University of Pennsylvania, uh, NYU, uh, and University of Pittsburgh, that's the PI, where we take, we put our banks in a virtual way at open to the mesothelioma community so that people can ask for the specimens with a protocol and we'll approve it and then they'll get the specimens. So when I operate on a patient, I ask the patients, can I please have a portion of your tumor, uh, and if I'm going to actually do an extra pleural pneumonectomy, I will also take normal tissue. Because it's important to know the differences between the normal, the tumor and the normal. Normal meaning that mesothelium, that, that target of injury. Why did that happen to that mesothelium? So what's normal and what, what, what are the patterns of uh, genes or proteins in the normal versus the pattern of genes and proteins in the tumor? And by looking at those differences, we may find ideas of what's different, what's in the blood that we could look for, as well as what we can target. So, you c so by having that tissue, there are c there's a series of important platforms. What's a platform? You can either look at genes or proteins or sugars or antibodies, but if you have the tissue and the material, somebody who's smarter than you are, who has a new platform that really needs to be validated and wants to do it in meso, you just send the, the, the stuff to them so that they can start working on it. And that way they can get funded, hopefully, through the United States government, through the NCI, to be able to have money to do it. And again, when we're talking about those kind of people, they're, they're looking for drugs or some kind of chemotherapy therapeutic agents that once they have the genetic basis or plasma basis to find out how to target those things, they can then try to find the right uh, the right drug. drug. Um, the, the mesothelioma is no different. The, the goals of treating mesothelioma are no different than the goals of treating breast cancer or lung cancer or pediatric malignancies. We want to find something that is specific to a patient. Just with the revolution of specific targeted mutations and changes in the DNA content of tumors in lung cancer and in breast cancer and colon cancer, we want to do that in mesothelioma so that if a patient presents with a mesothelioma, you could do a biopsy or something from the blood that then gets analyzed. It says, oh, this patient has this problem with their gene, with this gene, or with this protein, and we have a drug that specifically targets that gene or that protein, and then you can study whether that interferes with some bad pathway or, or interaction of the drugs, of the genes and the proteins, so that you have personalized treatment for that patient. 